Hi there everyone, today I'll be taking a look at a cheap alternative stylus to the Apple Pencil second generation. But first, I want to give you a backstory on what happened to my Apple Pencil while trying to remove the inside part of the tip which was actually stuck inside. I ended up pulling that little golden tip there. Guys, never do that. And now I just have a really expensive paperweight. Or it could double as a magnet for the fridge. It's a good idea. I'll have to try that. Well, after much crying and dissipating my frustration, I decided to go with a cheap alternative. So as opposed to shelling out another $120 for a replacement, I went with a third party stylus and that's what we got here. Now why go for a third party alternative? Well, because third party stylus can go as low as a quarter of the price to the Apple Pencil while still having an accurate pointer experience. That's where today's product comes in. The name on the description is Wingwheel Ultra Stylus. I got mine for like $25 in Amazon and I'm sure there are other similar stylus out there in Amazon and eBay which probably will have different names, but they'll probably all perform very similarly. So let's take a look inside what's in the box and see what we get, and also later take a look at what this stylus can do. Inside the box, you get a manual, the stylus itself, three extra tips and an extra cover to that USB-C port on the stylus that has a cover on it. So it's very generous that they give you a lot of extra tips. Compatibility, well, it's very compatible with all iPads that support the Apple Pencil. And the reason being because it has that same digitizer technology thing. I don't know, it, it doesn't need to connect via Bluetooth. So it just works right out of the box. Just double tapping the rear end of the stylus, it turns it on and you're set to go. And while it's on, the battery status is always indicating showing its level by the three blue LED dots on the end. Double tapping again, turns it off. And the pen actually turns off after five minutes of idle to preserve battery life. Now next to that LED indicator is an USB-C port for charging. One hour of charging gives you about 10 hours of use. So I believe all in all, battery life is really good. Now build quality is really good. The whole pen feels really sturdy. It actually feels like the real Apple Pencil, the material, but I'm sure it's a, a lot cheaper material. Now time will tell how long the appearance will last, but like the Apple Pencil, the flat side is magnetic, so you could prompt it up on the top of the iPad, but keep in mind that it doesn't charge the stylus. Again, you need to plug it in through the USB-C port to charge. Performance is great. This stylus is actually really accurate, very fast. It's so responsive that it, I visibly can't see any delay. Honestly, it's just as responsive as the Apple Pencil second generation. Palm rejection also works really great. Tilt support is there as well, surprisingly, but the apps that support tilt will have it. So it's again, hit and miss. But other than that, it's really smooth. It works great. Now, unfortunately, this is where the similarities end between the Apple Pencil and this wind wheel stylus, because one big con is that there's no pressure sensitivity. Now, some apps like the Apple Notes app, the drawing apps like Paper, Bamboo Paper, they appear to have pressure sensitivity by speeding up your stroke and curving really fast. But honestly, it is not. I really miss pressure sensitivity, especially when I'm signing documents and I want a very realistic signature. Pressure sensitivity is the way to go. So if pressure sensitivity is important for your needs, then you just have to get the Apple Pencil. All in all, I believe that because this stylus does work so great, it's very fast, it's accurate, the design is slick and minimalistic, I think it is worth the asking price of $25. Now it's up to you if or if the LED lights are annoying to you or having to plug it into a USB cable is annoying, then it's up to you to decide if this is a deal breaker for you or not. Personally, yeah, it's gonna have to do. I don't wanna shell out a lot of money for the Apple Pencil. So in short, yeah, it's worth trying it out and see how long it lasts me. Guys, if you have any other questions, any comments on the stylus, let me know in the comment section down below. 
and thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys on the next one peace